and you can even start with a release till you get warmed up. And then walk it back to a stand. All right, let's go one more time. Walk it out. Tap for one, two, three, four, five, five pushes. One, two, three, four, five, and walk it back. One more time, walk it out. Five shoulder taps, one, two, three, four, five, five pushes, one, two, three, four, five, and walk it back. So um, if you don't, don't, uh, hold on, I gotta fix this screen. Oops. All right, make sure you're muted, guys. But if you don't already know this, the push-up um, gets different parts of the chest depending on what type of push-up you do. So if you're doing a regular push-up, that just gets the full chest. If you're doing an elevated push-up where your feet are up and your hands are down, it gets the upper part of the chest. And if you're doing an, a decline push-up, <clears throat> I mean, that's a decline where your feet are up and you're on a angle you're doing an incline with your hands up and your feet down that gets the middle of the chest and then there are variations this is why you do different push-ups there's diamond push-ups to get the triceps there's wide to get inflect under the chest under the pec so today we're going to try some different push-up variations during our lifting all of them can be done in a release form where you fall all the way down and if you really want to go to your knees, not my favorite, but you can, you can try. All right, so we're gonna start with uh, the heaviest set of dumbbells you have. We're gonna go flat bench um, and incline. Just pick this up. So get yourself set. If you're on a bench, you're just gonna lie flat. If you are on a um, ball, you're just gonna have your hips up and centered and we're going to go for a push-up i mean a uh, chest press variation meaning we're going to add a couple things as we go so moderate to heavy i'm going to be using 25s so you could do 15s 20s you, you have as we know with this problem you're just going to do what you have so everyone get on their quick oh my goodness gracious balls low okay lie back Hips are up, head is rested. Let's go for five to 10 regular chest press. Keep. Back to your push-ups on the ground. Five regular push-ups. Back to 
You sound pretty far away, Chris. I just showed everybody my skull cap in memory of Adam. Is that better? Now you got now it's on. See, you got you have to tell me. Okay, I I wouldn't know because all I hear is me. So, all right, sorry about that. Chest press, twist, slide them down for ten. So we got press. Oops, I forgot to twist. Twist, pushing them down, and then open them back up. Chest press with a twist, slide them down, and then open. So there's this momentum and rotation. Take your time, press, twist, slide down, reopen at the base. Press with a twist, slide down, reopen at the base. Press with a twist. Don't forget if you're on a ball to keep your hips up. You're gonna get your tricep doing this. Press, twist, slide down. Let's do three more. Press, twist, slide down. Press, twist, slide down and five push-ups. All right, hands are on the ground. Can't even see my hands. All right, changing this. All right, and let's, we're gonna do one more variation. These are just regular push-ups. All right. Back to your ball or bench. Chest press, twist, slide it down, and then I want you to push it back up with the straight dumbbells, okay? So watch, I'll show you. Jack, you can watch me too and then do it. So you're here, you're up, twist, slide, and press, and bring it back. Come up, twist, slide it down, push it back up straight, turn it and bring it back. Ready? Come up, push, twist, slide it down, and then push it straight back up at that sliding position, then turn it, then open it back up down. Take it up and turn, slide down, and push it straight up. Turn the dumbbells again at the top, and then open at the bottom. Push up, twist, slide down, press up, turn it again, open it at the bottom. This one I want you to do to exhaustion. So press it up, 
slide it down, push it up, turn it. And again, if you fail, and I mean exhaustion being at the bottom. So when you can no longer push them up. And that's all I got with 25 pounds. Keep going. Don't stop until you really are exhausted. Don't stop until you're exhausted. And if, it, if it's not working, go faster. Pick up your pace. That's all. Pick up your pace. All right, let's go back. Five push-ups. So remember, if you don't have a super heavy weight, you got to just do more reps. One. You could do more push-ups, too. Anything more will tire you out. Three, four, five. Walk it in. All right. So I want, if you have a lighter, Allison, can you still hear me? Mindy, can you hear me clearly? Okay, so it's coming through the Bluetooth. Now, if you have a lighter weight, you're gonna to wanna to go down. I'm gonna go for 20s. Uh, if, you have, if you're at 30, you wanna go 25. If, you're, if the weight you have, like Keith, I'm not sure what you have today, but uh, what do you have? 30s, 40. He thinks I can see him. 40? Okay. So you, if you have a heavy dumbbell, you just reduce the amount. If you have lighter, you increase the amount. All right, we're gonna go, this variation is where our hips are down. So you have a bench, you're just gonna take out one of the stacks and put it on an angle. If, you're on a, if you don't have a bench or a ball, I've been watching videos on this, all you have to do is take them all off, Jack. All four on that side, and just slide it into the into the sleeve. You can come down on the ground. You can pick your hips up, and you're going to get yourself into a little bit of a decline by lifting your hips. That's the other alternative. If you have a chair or you have the edge of a bed or something. You can, we're going to be on an elevation or you're on the ground with the hips up. Okay, so let's go here. Same, same technique, changing each variation. This time our push-ups, our feet are going to be up and our hands are going to be down. Hips are down, we're going 10 regular chest press. What's the key? That the weight is over your chest, you squeeze at the top, and you hold it there for a second, and then release, and that your head is safe. So you're down, hips are back, just pushing up, squeezing right here, not rushing through it. If you need more reps, just do more. Nine, eight, you can also go quicker. There are all kinds of ways to burn the muscle. Seven, six, five. Are you angling it? Once you come up, lean them down a little. See if you can really aggravate that area. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. If you're on a bench, put your feet up. Just a little bit, elevate them. Yeah, right where you are at the top of your bench, Jack. I mean, no, just walk your feet higher. Back up, Jack, keep going, keep going. See, so now he's on elevation. And for the ball, you just walk it out. You can go as far out as you want, or if you need more support, walk it back. Same with the bench. If you want more support, put more of your legs on it. All right. Five push-ups. You want to look back at the equipment. Top of the head goes down. And roll or walk it back. And start again. Now this is a chest press elevation. We're on the ground with the hips up with a twist. So Allison's on the ball. Keith is on a riser, correct? Good. All right. 
let's go 10 to 12 reps on this, okay? Come up with a twist. Same thing you did on the, seat, on the flat variation. Squeezing at the top. Ten, nine, eight, squeeze, seven, six, five, we see our position, four, three, two, and one. If you need more, keep going. Otherwise, let's go do those push-ups. Okay, let's go do those push-ups. You wanna look at the back of your equipment, head is down, and you're looking back at it. So, it's hard to see me. Okay, just five. If you need more, do more. And let's go back. Third variation, chest press, twist, slide them down. Chest press, twist, slide them down. Today is a strength day. Not as much focus on cardio. Jane, your neck should be down. No one should be holding their neck up. You want it really rested. So press, twist, slide, open. Press. Twist, slide, open. One, two, three, open. One, two, slide it down, open. So let's keep that like sort of, that's where you're gonna start to feel it in the triceps. Don't forget about where your hips are supposed to be and don't forget about where your head's supposed to be. Let's do five more. I want your arms to feel tired you're not going to feel tired in your chest as much as your arms you'll feel sore tomorrow hopefully let's do two more guys two more press twist slide open press twist slide open walk or sit up position yourself this time i want 10 elevated push-ups 10 this time I mean, this is decline, sorry. I gotta get my language right. 10, nine, eight. Are you looking back at the equipment? Seven, six, five, four, three. Jack, you could just do more. That's okay, two, because they're watching you. One, and walk it back. Last set, press twist, slide it down, and press it up. Okay? Press, twist, slide down, push it back up. All right, everybody ready? Hips are down or head is down. You're on the ground. You're hinging your hips up. That's it, Monica. And the third component is make sure the weight is over your chest. All right. Do this to exhaustion. And that failure has to be at the bottom. All right, let's go. Twist, press down, push it back up, turn it back, open it, and back down. Twist and press, slide it down, push it up, reopen it to a position where you started, and back down. That gets the tricep, inflecting that. Twist, slide, press, and reposition at the top and back open. I want exhaustion where the muscles just can't go anymore and you're failing at the base. Keep going, keep going. Fight for it, you know, don't just give in, fight for it. People ask me all the time, well, are you allowed to use momentum? You have to use momentum to move weight. That's all you're doing is momentum. So is there cheating if you're pushing your hips up a little bit? No. 
there's, I mean, there's not cheating going on. There is no such thing of cheating when you're lifting weights. Keep going. Don't just give in. Keep going, Al. Maybe you're getting 15 or 20 this round. And rest when you can. Rest when you have when it's burning. When it's burning into the tries. Let's go up. We're going push-ups for exhaustion. And Keith, I want real exhaustion where you fail your push-up at the bottom. All right, let's go. As many as you can. If you want to have more of your leg on the bench so you can get more out of it, that's fine. Fail at the bottom. Using all those chest muscles and triceps, upper traps on the shoulder when you're looking back. Ugh. Come on. No one should be stopping yet. No one. Ugh. You could always do a release too. Ugh. Fail at the bottom. That means you cannot push anymore. Come on, keep going, guys. Keep going. Come on, Keith. This, this is all man work, all man work. You want to fail right at that base, Keith, right at that base. Jane, do some more. Come on, a couple more. Alessandra, a couple more. Monica, more. Jessica, more. Let's keep going. Mindy, for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. Nice work, guys. Nice work. All right. All right. There we go. Going into third variation, I'm going to suggest you get lighter weight if you have it. If you don't, then you have to use what you have. Okay, we're going into fly and try. Fly and try, a little combination set. Okay, so if you wanna know what I have, I'll take those 15. I have 15s, that's what I'm gonna use. And uh, I had two injuries, and so just so you know that I also sometimes, I don't, I probably from not going to my physical therapist, but I have an Achilles pain and that will hurt during push ups. So I have to modify by stacking my foot. And right now my elbow is inflamed again. How do I, how do I monitor that lighter weight? So, you know, you, I also understand the uh, not, not having a full mobility. So we're going to fly, basic fly to start. These are the same thing. We have a variation on the flies and tries. So we're gonna add a try to it. Instead of adding a twist, we're gonna be adding triceps. But the first one is a basic fly. Open up really wide. I want you to open up your fingers, hold the bottom, hold at the bottom, and try and straighten your arms a little. Then come up and straighten the dumbbells to, to squeeze them straight, all right? We're gonna go 15 on these guys, 15, 12 to 15, depending on your weight. Open up wide, hold, one, two, bring it up straight arm and squeeze and make sure it is over the pec, not over your chin. Three, so you open up. Don't squeeze the dumbbells, open up the fingers. Four. Five, the stomach is in. If you're on the ball, you're really hinging up. Six, seven, eight. You just have to, if you have to stop before 15, because your weight, that's fine. Let's go five more. One, open up those fingers, Al. Two, there you go. Open up those fingers, Mindy. I see you white knuckling it. Three, 
Monica, you can lift your legs, your hips up a little if you want a little more. And come on up. You're going to do an elevated push up. Hands are on something, even if it's a chair, a couch, a ball, or a riser, or even a set of dumbbells. You just get your hands up. All right, for five pushes. Keeping the elbows back. Starting to get into tricep a little more. Three, four, five. Very good. All right. Dumbbell variation. Fly and try. Oops. Fly and a try. So you're going to fly, bring them to a straight, separate them a little, skull crusher, and up. Everybody ready? Walk it out. Hips are up, or if you're on a riser flat, if you're on the ground, you're on the ground. Let's start at the top. Open up for a fly. Bring it up straight. Separate them a little, ear to ear, back up and open for one. Straight at the top, don't bend, kick it back, two. Open, close, and reopen it before you go down for that skull crusher. Three. Open, make sure when you come up, it is over your chest. Then you bring it back a little, then you open it, you got a, quite a bit of changing of position. Go nice and slow, think through it. Let's do 10 more. Bring it up, skull crusher, bring it up and open. Bring it up, skull crusher, open it and back down. Getting a momentum that's controlled. You're not gonna feel it in the tricep, in the chest. You're gonna just feel exhaustion in the arms. Let's do four more. Three more. Two more. One more. And rest. Well, we're not really resting. Increasing to 10 elevated push-ups. So I fall right down to the ball. 10, 9, whew, 8, 7, 6, 5, Really keeping your elbows back. Four. You can see Jack. He's on just an elevator. Three. Two. And rest. All right. All right. So this is our third rotation fly skull crusher bring it back up and an overhead pull i know that's something new okay so watch me it's something new okay an overhead pull does get the triceps and the pectoral muscle so you have to come up Start here, you're gonna fly, come up, squeeze, separate, skull crusher up, skull crusher open, both dumbbells back, both dumbbells up. So you're stretching them back, almost like a lat pull, but you have single dumbbells. So you're, you're gonna be getting the right and left pec and the right and left tricep. Watch one more time. Okay, so we come up, we fly, Close it at the top, separate, skull crusher, skull crusher. Put them almost together, then slide them back, keeping your hips up, slide them forward. Back to fly, back to close, skull crusher. Up, 
pull them back. All right. When you go for that straight back, you, do, you have a slight bend in your elbow, like when you do a single dumbbell lap pull. So it's not straight. Your arms aren't totally straight. They have a little bend, and you keep that bend so you feel the stretch in your pec. All right, let's do about 10, or 10 of those. So you take your time, you fly it up, skull crusher, then reach them back, 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 nice and slow. Bring them up, back to fly. Back up, skull crusher. Bring them up, reach them back, they can touch. Just be safe, is your neck safe? If you have to drop weight, that's fine. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, don't do it. Just do more skull crushers. Fly, bring it up. Skull crusher up, reach it back, slow, slow, slow. Almost like you're gonna rip your arms out of your socket. Fly, bring it up. Skull crusher up, reach it back nice and slow. Let's do three more. Fly, bring it up. Skull crusher, bring it up. Fly, reach back. There we go. Fly, bring it up. Skull crusher, bring it up. Fly, reach back. Let's do one more. Fly, bring it up. Come on, Jack. Skull crusher, bring it up. Reach them back and rest. Let's go for 15 elevated push ups. 15. That's it. 15 elevated push ups. Oh my God. I have an Achilles problem. It's not good. All right, looking down and back. At, oh no, I'm on. Sorry, my bad. So excited. 15 elevated push ups. 15, 14. Oh boy. 13, getting the pec, triceps, elbows are back. 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, oh, exhausting, 6, fight for it, 5, you can go to release, that's what I'm doing, 4, 3, 2, and rest, very good. All right. We're going to go back to our chest press again, and we're going to do a single variation. So this is a little unorthodox to go backwards, but it's okay because of the style today and the amount of weights we're using. So you want to go back to your heavier. If you're getting a little exhausted, you might be you know, a little later, I started with 25. I mean, I know you guys don't have a bunch of weight choices. You could try the head where you started. And then if that doesn't work, cause you're getting tired, then just go down. Two dumbbells. We're, we are actually gonna reduce to single dumbbell soon. Keith, get those 40s. We're gonna have 50s. 55, good, ah, whatever, it's like charades. I can't see, that's the problem. Whatever you have, Keith, get. Okay, so we're gonna have both dumbbells above our head. We're into a flat bench again, or a flat ball. You're gonna have both dumbbells up. You're gonna go five on the right, five on the left. It'll look like this. And then I want you to come off for 10 mountain climbers. So it's gonna be both dumbbells up, you're gonna have five pushes on the right, single dumbbell press, working one peck, five on the left. And come down, nice and quick, 10 mountains. I can't do them, so I'm just gonna to have to walk. Walk them or run, one, one, two, two for 10. No wonder I'm injured, because even if I'm injured, I continue to do the same exercise and re-injure myself. Six, 
So let's go for that again. We're gonna do that four times. Five on the right, five on the left, 10 mountain. Come on up, dumbbells up. Let's start with the right hand for five, four, three, two, and one. Five on the left, one, two, three, four, five. If you want to switch your mountain climber to elevated or on the ball to challenge yourself a little, you can, or on their dumbbells if they're metal and rolling, but just knock out 10. And come on back up. We're gonna be going into a uh, twist. You're gonna be twisting the single dumbbell, okay? You're gonna hold both dumbbells up. Can you still hear me okay, Jane? All right, both dumbbells are up. Stay with me on this. See, Al, you're doing it wrong. That's why you wanna stay with me, Al Allison. You were twisting, but the wrong way. Dumbbells are up. You're gonna open, twist at the top. One is twisted, one is straight. 10, I mean five, four, three, two, one, reposition. Take it down, regular, twist at the top for the left. Five, four, don't let that right arm bend. Three, two, and one. Now listen, on this mountain climber, I want you to have a staggered hand. That's gonna, that's gonna engage more of the left or right pec. So one hand forward, one hand back, and run it. One, one, two, two, three, three. Oh, Jesus. I didn't say Jesus Christ. I said cheese and rice, Monica. I see those religious rosary beads on your wall. I said cheese and rice, because that's what Cole gets to eat tomorrow. I'm very excited. All right. Again, both dumbbells are up, twisting and sliding down this time. It's our third variation on the single dumbbell. So follow me, both are up. We're gonna come up, twist, slide it down, and then reopen. Come up, twist, slide it down, reopen for two. Twist, slide down for three, open, twist, slide it down for four, open, twist, Slide it down for five, bring them both up. Don't take a break. Come on down with the left, twist it up, slide it down, and then reopen. Twist it up, slide down for two. Twist it up, slide down for three. Twist it up, slide down for four. Twist it up, slide down for five. Stagger the other hand forward for 10 mountain climbers. If you don't remember what hand, I think we did the left. Now we can do the right. Stomach is in. And rest. All right. Next variation, putting it uh, all together again. So I want you to reduce to a little bit lighter weight. So I'm gonna go from 25s to uh, 15s. I want you to go sort of towards that tricep fly weight that you had originally. Okay. How are we doing on time? All right.
Um, would you be mad if I changed it? Because I, I forgot something. I wanted to do those variations on the incline. So can you go to the incline weights? So not the tricep weight yet, the incline weight. Like I'm gonna go with my 20, because I forgot to drop her. I'd like to do a variation with our hips down. Okay, so, and then, then we're gonna go some flies and then a single dumbbell finish. So Keith, you'll like that. So Keith, this would be great if you had 25s or 30s. And Al, this would be good 15 or 20 for you. All right, so we're going hips are down. Both dumbbells up over the chest. And I want five on the right, five on the left basic. One, two, on an incline, three, four, five, and then the left, one. Don't have, you don't want it over your face. You gotta angle them. That's the hard part. That's why you have to reduce weight. Three, four, five. Very good. Coming to the ground. Coming to the ground. Five half pike. Just, I mean, 10, I'm sorry, it's just like the mountain. Half pikes, working the pecs, the tricep, hips are down, 10 of those. Little spurt of cardio, that's all. Little spurt of cardio. I think my uh, hood is making a lot of noise in your mic. All right, so uh, hips are down again. We're gonna do that single twist at the top. Five on the right, five on the left, ten half pikes again. Take them both up, twist it at the top. Can you see me? There. Five, four, three. Keep it over your on that angle. It's real easy to forget that. Hips are down, twisting. Controlling on the angle. Three, four, five. Ten half pikes. Hips are down. Triceps are engaged. Jump it wide, really jump it wide. Jump or walk it in. Very good. Third variation, twist, slide it down, push it back up, a single dumbbell. Walk it out, both dumbbells are up, start at the top, come up for a twist, single dumbbell, incline, slide it down, reset. Push with a twist, slide. Push with the twist, slide it down for five. One more. Reset them at the top. Try not to take a break. Come up, twist, down for one. Come up, twist, down for two. Twist, down for three. Twist, down for four. Twist, down for five. Real quick, 10 pikes. Hips are down, triceps are used, chest is being used. Last one on the, on the incline, single dumbbell combination. It's that double press. You come up, you twist, slide down, Press it back up. So it's an added, added front press. All right, come on down. Hips are down, both dumbbells. Come up, slide, slide it down, slide it up, then reset. Come on down, press with a twist, 
slide it down, slide it up, and then reset. Come up, press, twist it, hold it, slide down, slide up, reposition. You'll get a momentum. And then five on the other side. This is where you'll realize what arm could be weaker, what chest muscle could have a little weakness to it. So you're double pushing at this point, adding, and that's getting the tricep, that front press, and rest. 10 pikes real quick. Very good. We're going to a single dumbbell heavier now. Single dumbbell heavier. I'm gonna use a 30. Use the heaviest dumbbell you have, guys. The heaviest dumbbell. All right. So we're all gonna go to the ground on this one. Everyone's going to the ground with your heavy dumbbell. Yep. We're gonna do that hinge up with our hips up this time. So we got one dumbbell, hips are up. We're going 25 single dumbbell chest press. If you want some more out of it, lift a leg but you really have to hinge up on your shoulders. Ready, 25, 24, you're sliding, 23, two, 21, 20. It's a nice pace, hips stay high, Jack. 19, 18, 17, that's the pace, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, Ooh. 11, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come on up. Diamond push ups. Diamond. Make a diamond. Now, listen, uh, there's no way with my Achilles and my elbow. I'm going to do a release. I'm going to fall to my diamond and push myself up for 10, nine. Yeah, eight, seven, very hard. Diamond, diamond, fall to your chest. It's not a failure. You know how much we've done? Your arms should feel like jello. If they're not, then you're not doing enough. And rest, diamond push-ups, okay. Chest variation two, elevated hips up, press up, and then skull crusher back. Try the weight you have, if that doesn't work, so watch. I might have to reduce, okay? So come up, and or if you have really light, then just use both of them, okay? Just use both of them. If you don't have one heavy, hips are up, chest, Oh, forget about it. I'm gonna break my face. All right, Jack, where's the 25? All right, so that's what you gotta do. If you don't have heavy, then just do two light, chest press up, skull crusher with those hips up. Two light or one heavy. Come on, Keith. We're going up for 25. Hips are up, press, skull crusher here and down. Up, two and down. Press, take your time. Skull crusher, you want the handle of the dumbbell to hit your skull. The handle to hit your skull. Please don't get hurt. Oh, I don't really care. You're an adult. If you drop this, that would just suck. Ugh. Take your time, you have to know you're gripping. Are your hips dropping? Don't let them drop. Press, skull crusher, bring it down. Hips up, Keith, higher. 
There we go. There we go. Really hinging your hips up, Monica. Up higher. There you go. There you go. That's the work. Come on, Alessandra. Push, crush, back, down. Hips stay high, Jeff. You should be pulling your knee, your feet towards your glutes a little. Not on your tippy toes. Your heels are down. Hips are up. Press, crush, back, press. Do you have a rhythm? If you have to reduce weight, just do it. Squeezing your butt at the top, adding a little bit of that gluteus work in the lower back. Anytime you change the angle, it changes the, it changes the movement. Oh, man. About 25, okay? All right. Taking a break from the single. Well, on the ground, we're coming up for elevated single dumbbell tricep extensions. We got five minutes, so we're gonna try and do uh, four sets of this. Uh -oh. All right. One dumbbell, overhead, bring it up. That's all we got. Let's just keeping the elbows in. Burn it out. I don't even want you to count. I just, oh, my hair, on my face. Just fail at the bottom. Fail at the bottom, which is right here. When you get that, we're going to go do some can cans. Oh, okay. When you fail, come down. Back down to the ground. Now you can't see me. Oh my God. So annoying. So annoying. No, I guess. Okay. All right, here we go. Can cans. Your hands are up. Triceps are engaged. Fingers are out. One foot is up. You're going to switch kick in the air. Ready. Quiet. One is up. Keeping your hips up. Switch. And watch. Switch. Switch. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Come on back up. Single dumbbell kickback. Single. If you don't have the right and proper weight, just stick with that double. Kick it back. 10, 9. I have a 20. 8, 7, 6. Stomach is in. 5. That's it, Keith. 4. Don't swing too high, Keith. You don't want to be above your back. Take that dumbbell to your shoulder and hold. And switch sides. Just burn it out. 10, 9, 8. Belly is in. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And we're going dips. Any elevated surface, anything you have. I'm just going to use dumbbells because that's all I have. I'm dipping. Hands are on my dumbbells. Everyone has those, so put them upright, Monica. 10, nine, that's a Keith, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, oh Christ. Back up, kickbacks again. While you're heated, try to keep them burning. Come on, Keith. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Can you take that off your ear so I don't have to look at you like that? Gross. Ridiculous. Please don't go on the screen. Please don't go on the screen. Please don't. 
make it not professional. Five, four, three, please move. Okay. All right, back to dips. One last time. You want a little more out of it. This is one way you can stagger your foot and across, and that really weighs down more. Or you can lift the leg, you can play around with it. Doesn't matter because it's the arms that you're trying to burn. This is when we're going for exhaustion. And I want you to fail at the bottom. It's not a big movement. Come on, Monica. It's nothing almost, it's almost nothing. Really the work is just holding in five. Keep pushing, four, three, two, and break. All right, guys. That's nine o'clock. Um, if you do want to do the ab portion by Monica, it's 50 Russian twist. I recommend everyone does it. 50 V ups and 50, hold on, I wrote it down. Uh, hold on one second, please. It's 50, oh, weighted V ups, 50 bicycles, 50 crunches. I mean, I'd be happy to stay and do it with you. Who wants to stay with me? And just for, I mean, we'll be done in five minutes. All right, Jessica's in. Jane, big boy. <laughs> Come on, Keith, let's do it. All right, let's do it, guys. A really lightweight, uh, maybe 25, 20. Let's go for those 50. You know what this is going to get, Keith? It's going to get your chest, the V-ups and the tricep, so, all right, Jack, you wanna get a 25? All right, let's go, 50 weighted V-ups. I know it feels like a lot. I like to interlock my hands. I, didn't, I do not pick up my head on the weighted ones. The weighted ones, I'm just really working the arms and the abs, so. Go back, head is down, one. It's not that hard. Two, you should get 25 in a row. Three, four, five. That's about the pace. Six, so you wanna get a weight that you can keep this pace. That's 10. One, two, let's go for 30. Three, four, five, six, Seven, don't let your feet touch or the dumbbell. Eight, it's a constant. Nine, 10 more, take a break. Nine, eight, throw it up. Seven, six, keep that lower back safe. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Come on up, get some blood back to your head. We got 20 more. Everybody ready? Well, just keep. Jane, is that your bicycle? Or did. Is that a child's bicycle? Oh, cute. All right, it's like Pee Wee Herman girl. All right, 20 more. 19, 18. Remember, chest and try. 17, come on, Jack. 16, 15, where's that pace? 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, very good. This is it. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one, roll it up. All right, come front center. Get the same dumbbell for Russian twist. All right, single count, one, two, three. Let's bang out five sets of 10. Ready guys, dumbbell up, feet up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, rest. We'll just take breaks. Take breaks. 
Keith, put some weight in your hand. Uh, don't, you can do it without taking it to the ground. We're gonna do a weighted Russian twist. Don't take it to the ground. I don't want it to touch. Everyone should have weight in their hand. So just don't let it touch the ground. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, keep going. 10, one, two, 33, 34, 35, 36, 10 more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. 50, that was quick. And we got bicycles. Ready, everyone on the ground. It's a one, one count. Bicycles go for a really extended leg. One, one, two, two. Keep your pace. Four, four, almost there. Six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. Doesn't have to be fast. I'd rather be extended. Uh, 10, 40 more. Keeping your lower, this one, your head is up. Your lower back is pushing on the ground or the mat. Keep moving, keep moving. Try to go to exhaustion. This is your last exercise of the day. Oh. Keep going, Jack. We got 20 more. Two, two. Let's all do them together. Four, four, five. Are you twisting? Don't just get comfortable with your legs moving. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice work. All right, guys. Thank you for coming. I hope you got a good, decent workout. I did. We sort of went, we went off of the paper and then we did stuff on our own. Those variations are great when you don't have super heavy weight. They really, any twisting, any of that. You could do the same when you do bicep. Twist, dumbbell, row. I mean, you just add a movement to your movement and then you're getting that extra work. Those are called complexes, and they're really good to do. So uh, this week, I'll try and do all complexes. So uh, Wednesday, we'll do back and by complexes, and then Friday, legs. And then tomorrow's cardio. So anybody have anything they want to ask me, Keith? Anything? No? OK. All right, I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. OK, bye. Good job, Jack. What'd you think?